that's so beautiful. So, wow. <laughs> this is Native American one made, made by Fran. Hmm. Yeah, my, this is weird for me too. Yes. Yeah, kind of changes the hand of uh, yeah. your wrist. Yeah. Our next guests are director of the Cleveland Chinese Music Ensemble, David Badiani, and we have Cleveland native Jarrell Barton here as well. And so you're here to talk about your upcoming performances. Welcome back home. Thank you. <laughs> I know you're Thank in you. Minneapolis now, Minnesota. Yep. Yep, Minneapolis, All right. Minnesota. And so tell us a little bit about this instrument that you brought with you. So today. this is called the Gu Zheng, and it's a 2,500 year old instrument from wow. China. Um, it's like a harp with uh, 21 strings. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jerrell Barton, and I play this instrument called Gurtzen, and it's a 21-string zither from China, to do a pentatonic scale. So tonight I'll be playing a variety of uh, traditional and contemporary pieces from different provinces in China, including one of my own pieces called Gazing at the Moon. The second guest artist is a very special one. Jarrell Barton is one of the finest young performers of the Gu Zheng, or Chinese zither. And he has uh, agreed to join us as our guest artist for this concert and flown all the way from Minneapolis, his home. The Gu Zheng is an instrument that dates back thousands of years, and it's a wooden board with strings on it. He'll tell you more about it. It's one of the most common instruments in Chinese music. People play it everywhere. But they don't play it like Jarrell Barton. He is a, a most uncommon musician.
time, I learned that uh, he's living in Minnesota, but his home town was Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, I thought to myself, maybe the Hudson Library would invite him to be our guest for next year's program. And they said, absolutely, yes. And uh, that one performance for him to come here and play with us has turned into eight events. And the, today is the fifth of like an eight stop tour, little mini tour for Drill. And he, so far he's been on TV and he'll be on NPR on Monday. He's going to play at the Bop Stop tomorrow. That's a jazz club in Cleveland. So he's getting a huge response to his playing while here. Really, to order to study this instrument, you ended up having to. Your, your grandmother is obviously very supportive. Yes. You guys moved to Minnesota. What took yes. you there? Yeah, so uh, we found a master. His name is Lee Jashyang, and he lives in Burnsville. So we moved to Minnesota so I could study with Lee Jashyang, or Lee Lausher. Yeah. Did he take many? I mean, did he take many students? He has several students. He has several students. Yeah. And but I was his only. You know, American non-Chinese student. Right. What did he say? <laughs> the only I'm just black guy playing the guitar. Yeah. What did he say? I mean, did he say that, you know? Was he surprised was, at your well, interest? Well, I asked him. Yeah, I asked him. I said, you know, even though I'm not Chinese, can I still learn? Can I still play the guitar? He says, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <laughs> 